Okay, welcome back. This is part three of my YouTube style video page tutorial. Um, so, yeah, uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to style the actual video page itself. So, yeah. Um, what I'm going to do is we're inside this if uh, get ID statement right here. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to completely get rid of everything, all of those, those two echo statements and just put in one new statement. Um, now, I'm going to get rid of that right there um, because we don't want that on, we don't want to shorten our description on the video page itself. Uh, now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab these lines of code and so you can see these two lines of code, uh, what it does is uh, it breaks all the new lines, all of the different lines in the description. It's going to make it display as a new line. That's what this first one does. Uh, the second line right here, what this does is all of the links inside of it, it's going to make it a link. Uh, so, yeah. Um, so that's, that's, that's what that does. Um, now, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this um, and I'm going to paste it replacing that echo statement um, so what this is doing hang on I got this in my eye um, so what we're doing is we're displaying the name of the video itself uh, and now I just thought about it and we need to get rid of this while statement and just make that a single line we can come down here, get rid of that, and indent everything accordingly. Uh, so what we're doing is we're displaying the name, and then after we display the name, we're showing our video. Now this is the generic code to show a video on a page, and then right here and right here, we have our video uh, page uh, ID thing that's stored in your database, uh, so we just throw that in there and it makes it dynamic. Now this next one, uh, I'm going to get rid of some of the styling inside of here. Um, so actually I can completely get rid of this because that was just specific for my site. So what we've done so far is we've displayed our name and we've displayed our uh, video itself. Um, now, notice that I do have center tags in here, so our video will automatically center. Um, now, the next part is pretty much just however you want. Um, so, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to simply uh, say um, description. Or, no, I'm not going to say description. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say dollar sign description. So, we're just displaying the description. Um, but before that, I'm going to put in a line break. And before the line break, uh, I'm going to say, um, now if you had a, a, like say if this is user based and multi different people could upload their own videos and put in their own information, um, you want to put in a link for their account right here. Uh, but I'm going to say date, and then I'm going to put in a bracket, or not a bracket, a straight up and down line, and then I'm going to put views, and then it's going to give us a line break, and I'm going to go with two line breaks and that's going to give us our description I'm going to go with another two line breaks and I'm going to say keywords and I'm going to make that bold make that puppy bold and you would put your keywords there now since I'm not displaying keywords I don't need that so that right there will pretty much display what we need it to uh, so I'm going to FTP up my index file, and I actually have to change my directories. So I'm going to upload that index file. <clears throat> so there we go. So I'm going to refresh the page, and you don't need to refresh the page necessarily. Um, so we have our content, and if you see down here, we have our, our link to our index page. I'm going to click it. And it's just taking forever to load because my server's going slow. So 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to resume it once it's done loading. Okay, so it's done loading um, and it's showing our title and that my title is actually wrong um, because it's wrong in my database. It's showing our video, nice large video, and then it's showing the description right there. And then we've got our date and it just says two. So where we display our views, I'm going to say views. Um, so that will fix our view problem. Now, um, one of the biggest problems that people are having is that they're unable to make it so when the page loads that the view count will go up. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new variable. And I'm going to call it new views. And I'm going to set it equal to dollar sign views plus one. Whoops, plus one. <laughs> So what we're doing is we're getting the view count that it currently is at, and then we're just adding one to it. Then we want to update our database, and we want to uh, set our new value. So we want to say, uh, we'll put a query in, we're gonna put a new line there, and we're going to say um, update. And then the next thing you want to type in is your table name. Mine is video underscore toots. And then we, you want to say set, and then views or downloads or whatever you're, you're trying to update and, and set the new value in this case views uh, we're gonna set this to new views and then you wanna say where uh, ID equals and this is going to be our uh, get ID variable so that right there that will actually update the page so um, so it, it will uh, so the view count will update so I'm gonna FTP that file back up and now my computer's going slow um... there we go okay so any seconds so you can see the view count is at two and if I refresh the page it's not going to change uh... but it says two views now if I refresh the page it's going to go up to three views because that's the view count right now and then if we refresh again it goes up to four views so that is uh, essentially just giving the uh, the update text to make it so it'll actually update the uh, uh, sorry it'll update the database and set the new information um, so what I'm going to do before I end this I'm going to take out the center tags so you're not going to get that um, so that concludes this video um, in this series, it's a nice little short series, uh, a very, very easily configurable uh, file, and you can change it to whatever you want, it'll still work, the, the name that is, um, and so you can have your own custom little YouTube view viewer on, uh, on your site. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and I hope you use this script, so you can download the script on uh, nickfrosty.com, so thanks for watching.